Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in New York City at Advertising Week, where I'm delighted to be joined by Bill Stratton, Global Head of Media, Entertainment, and Advertising at Snowflake. Bill, always a pleasure sitting down with it you. It wouldn't sir. be an ad week if I wasn't <laughs> sitting here with you, Ryan. The day is complete. <laughs> we are yet again at another global industry event. Today, we're, we're in New York at Advertising Week, and Snowflake has very much, true to fashion, shown up in a big way. What are you most looking forward to while on site this week? Yeah, listen, every single year, there's always developments that are happening with the AI data cloud for media. And the fact that our customers and partners are here, this event gets bigger and bigger every year. And the fact that our customers and partners are really leaning into keeping privacy and sovereignty of their data and Snowflake, but unlocking ad value, right? And advertising revenue. That's really what it's all about. Great insights, Bill. The advertising sector is an undergoing enormous change from the advancements in AI to the changing regulatory policies over privacy. How is the data cloud adapting to the new environment to deliver best in class insights at scale for its customers and partners across the advertising sector? Yeah. Well, first of all, you may remember we launched the media data cloud here three years ago, right? So this is sort of our anniversary and our homecoming. The data cloud is continually adapting, right? And the fact that um, the data in the platform does not move, but unlocks all of these use cases, whether it's ad targeting, whether it's activation of media, whether it's measurement and attribution. And so the data cloud is evolving because the ecosystem around it is growing and expanding. And those use cases and that revenue is what's driving us forward. I'm so glad you mentioned the ecosystem. Yeah. They're quite literally all around us here. They are. Um, for the business leaders watching, Bill, who are seeking to build proper data foundations to propel their advertising strategies to new heights, what steps should they be taking now to position themselves for long-term success? Yeah, we actually just came off a panel with some folks, some customers, VideoAmp and WBD. We were talking about this exact topic. And the fact is, is that, that putting your data into the data cloud is the first step, okay? And what people don't realize is that's starting to unlock the value that's gonna lead to other things like AI and Gen AI and other types of applications. But you have to start with the foundation. And you have to have the quality of data and the fidelity of that data in order to actually realize all of that future value. So that's really what customers, companies are starting with today. Great insights, Bill. And I'm so glad you mentioned the three-year anniversary here with the launch of the Media Data Cloud. Yeah. Very much to your point, Snowflake's homecoming. What has changed over that time and where are you seeing the most momentum right now? I would say that when we started here a couple of years ago, um, the what we call the sell side, the media publishers, the companies that have their subscriber streaming services in Snowflake, that customer data, they were the start. They're the sellers of media inventory. What we're seeing now is marketers and agencies, the buy side, the marketers are now realizing the value of their first party data and then how they can activate and measure campaigns themselves. And that can be done without them moving you know, their data around at all. So I think what we're starting to see, to come back to your word ecosystem, we're seeing a more completeness of the ecosystem that started with the sell side, now moving into the buy side activities. Great to hear, Bill. Always a pleasure sitting down. What's next for Snowflake with regards to the advertising sector? Yeah, you can't talk about what's next without AI. Right. I think what we're seeing though, is that companies without realizing it as customers of Snowflake have the foundation for AI today. I'll give you a great example. Thousands of companies are creating campaigns in Snowflake with their audience data. They can now start to leverage a model in Snowflake with AI to build those audiences in an automated fashion. They can decide how much a campaign planner is involved or how much they want to automate using AI. So we're seeing this sort of spectrum now that's starting to happen and companies can choose with our platform to say, I want to automate this part, but then I want you know manual or human processes involved here 
And so it's a combination and it's not one size fits all. That's the beauty of Snowflake and the data cloud. It can be leveraged uniquely for each company's goals and objectives. Very well said, Bill. Thank you so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Ryan. Thank you so much. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.